I'm Ivan with the Adam Hall Group uh, here at uh, ISC and today I would like to introduce you to our newest uh, design and management software for network LED systems and solutions which is Questra. So Questra is it's essentially a tool for integrators and installers and uh, with it you gain the full DSP capabilities of LD systems audio devices like our EPA amplifier that you can see right here. Of course, uh, the amplifier needs one of the two um, optional expansion cards. The first one is the XECI, which stands for Ethernet uh, Control Interface. And the second one is XEDAI, which is Ethernet plus Dante Audio Interface, which gives us additional four Dante input and output channels. So we need these two cards, one of these two cards, to actually connect our amplifier to Questra. And uh, once we did it, we can start managing, configuring uh, our amplifier, which turns into a completely new device once we're finished. So let me show you how it's done. So this is Questra, we're running currently now. And I can uh, drag and drop uh, one of the offline devices, one of the two EPA models. So simply by dragging and dropping and then uh, selecting it, I can simply start configuring it with, for example, specifying the inputs. Uh, if needed, I can also add additional gain to the input uh, channels. I can use my compressor that I have per input channel. Uh, same goes for the Dante inputs or our remote uh, inputs for the remote bus that we have on the back panel. Of course, there is also a signal generator so that we can check our outputs to see if everything is working as it should. We have a fully uh, capable mix matrix section here where we can route our input signals to the uh, corresponding outputs by simply uh, enabling or disabling cross points. We can also create presets by simply right-clicking on one of the parameters, for example, within the mix matrix, creating a new preset, naming it, and then we can uh, add some uh, new, for example, elements of the mix matrix to that preset, and we can also easily manage presets within the presets section, so selecting it and checking what is in the preset, but we can also uh, show you the edit mode, which is a more visual way of representing presets within Questra, so I see what is the currently active preset, and I can also see that I have three elements in the mix matrix right here in this preset that also indicates me which are the elements active. So yes, there is also a priority ductor there, as you can see, where I can select my priority source, do the adjustments, and then simply select which outputs are affected by it. The output section has presets for LD system speakers. So we have the Curve 500 uh, presets, the Decor series, and the Maui i1. Uh, of course, there is a 10-band parametric EQ and a multi-band compressor per output channel. And there is one more, what we call a room EQ here. It's also a 10-band fully parametric EQ. And of course, the typical adjustments like delay, polarity, inversion, and uh, that's basically it. So once we configure our audio device, we can also then design uh, our Questra panel, which is the way how we control the system using touch panels. Either touch panels, the QTP5 or QTP8, the new uh, Questra touch panels from LD Systems, or uh, this app can also run on Windows computers or iOS Android portable devices. So here is the finished design. We're done in uh, Questra panels with several pages or screens, which I can also control directly in the Questra panel app without having to deploy this to a hardware device just to check if my design is working or not. So, and once we finish the design, we deploy it, go online, and then we can simply control the whole system with the Questra panel app, which, as I said, can be running on various systems. So yes, this was a quick overview of Questra. If you are interested in more information, just go to the LD Systems website, ld-systems.com, and just find the Questra landing page for further information. Thank you very much.